Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Coming back at you like Cleopatra, you know, the 1980s mega group, not the Queen of Egypt. You may not remember them, but you will remember us when we bring you a roundup of the showbiz news, tomfoolery from the internet, and not forgetting some edufamication. We show you that science, that is. But before we start all the coy flirting, we go and speak to the man who is more dirt than flirt. Yes, the man who hasn't got a soap on a rope, it's Mike. You're right, I haven't got a soap on a rope because I lose it. I'm, no, I lose the rope. You lose, it just sucks itself up. <laughs> I didn't say it sucks itself up. I just say I lose the rope. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I have got a sock on my cock. I've been slowly sucking sickly sausage rolls, well, looking at the internet to find some bits to share, including a new fashion trend. Oh. And I have some hot showbiz news, including what one celeb is doing in the bathroom. And you can always find us when you're feeling a little lost. Just look on social media for The Cud TV. Not forgetting our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us without the distraction of our faces on a podcast or get distracted and watch us on YouTube, have a search for Chewing The Cud and hit subscribe. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name on screen right now. Mike. We keep getting more and more obscure in the things that I say at this point. So I'm not going to talk about how a sad thin ape bought some wide white tape to trim a new cape for his niece. But a bold buff calf with a loud rude laugh bit off one whole half for his geese. On that, a large red cow tried to make a bow but did not know how, they say, for her legs got mixed and her horns got fixed and her tail wouldn't get in her way. And the fact that the black cat sat in the fat man's hat. Oh dear, the fat man said. May the great grey bat catch the bad black cat who has left me no hat for my head. But so instead of all that, I'm just going to ask, why don't sheep shrink in the rain? The rain's a cold wash. What about when you put them in the tomb? No, that's just, just, let's just play. Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's had an unfortunate incident with a sound. He wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was, so it slightly shocked him when he encountered it, but he enjoyed the experience in the end. A sound like a noise? No, as in the metal bar that you push down your pee-pee hole. Actually, the producer thought you'd react like that, so he lent me his set for you to peruse. Which one do you think you've, you'd manage? I'm not touching that. Nope. Open it up. Those genuine art things you stick up your pee hole, are they? Down. I've got one in now, as we speak, and look. It's ribbed for extra sensation. <laughs> and... Uh... And here's one for you. Looks a bit like a wand. Like a Harry Potter wand. Yeah. Yeah? Just have a look. No, I don't want to. Oh, hold it. It's I don't want steril- to. It's been sterilised. It's going to electrocute it's me. It's not going to electrocute you. Oh, see? It's fine. If you if there's a button on that... <laughs> that... <laughs> if there's a button on this... I have one that electrocutes people. <laughs> it's not an electrocution <laughs> one. No, there you go. There you go. You can f*** off! <laughs> this one vibrates. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. This one vibrates, see? Bit of thunk it. Vibrates. Moving swiftly on. This week we're playing straight acting, and that is a game for Mike. So off you hop, skip and jump to our special area while I explain the rules. And take your pee hole stick with you. It's magic wand. Expelliarmus. Mike will be given a scenario spewed out at a whim by our state-of-the-art random scene generator, and he will try to portray that scene via the medium of theatrical performance, or something not quite approaching it. Are you ready, Mike? I am moist with anticipation. Oh. Shall we have the first one? I'm fat. I'm melting. I'm warm and I'm melting. Melting. Melting! 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 
Are you a snowman? I am a snowman. In the heat? I'm just a snowman. Just a snowman. Just a snowman. Just walking in the air. Okay. Let's have another one. Okay. I'm small. Oh no! Small. Chicken. Small. Small chicken. Yeah. Oh, are you chicken licking with the sky falling in on him? I am chicken little, yeah. Chicken licking. Chicken little. Chicken licking. Chicken little. It's not chicken little, it's chicken licking. You got what I meant though, didn't you? Chicken yeah. Little. I believe the I believe the sky is falling down. Yeah, finger licking chicken. No, that's something very different. Pull another one out of your hole. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! A shock chicken laying an egg. Shock chicken laying an egg. Close. I, uh, I'm a hen who's scared by eggs. I'm ready for your next okay. performance. Oh. 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 Oh, yes. 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 Is it you spaffing one out? No. That's more of a... <laughs> Is it somebody having an orgasm? So a very specific someone. A specific someone. A specific someone. You having an orgasm? No. Think film. Um. Um. <coughs> Harry met Sally. Yes, I'm not having orgasm an orgasm in, in Sally. Harry met Sally. Yeah. Okay. Next one. The minute you walked in the joints. <laughs> Don't need to do any more, do I? You've got it. No, I think I think you can need to just carry on a little bit more. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. As long as she needs me. She did that one too. I don't think she did. I think she did. Is it is it Shirley of uh, Dame Shirley Bassey? It is Dame Shirley Bassey and Dame she Burley did, Chassis. She did sing um as long as he needs me like that. Did she? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want the next one? Yeah. Yeah, shall we do the That'd next be one? Helpful. Instead of just staring at me like we're a codfish. I can see you in front of me. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm gonna fire at you. Pew 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 pew. <coughs> oh no, it's the boss. So what to do with Star Wars? Yes, but what? Pew 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 pew. Oh no, Darth Vader, it's the boss. I haven't seen it. Okay, I'm a stormtrooper. Oh! Okay. Let's have another one. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this decade. It's the best decade ever. Lee was 48 in this decade. Da, 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 da. Mike was born in this decade. Da, 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 da. Filthy shade of it all. I don't know. Is it something to do with the 80s? Uh, it was the 80s, yeah. Oh, just the 80s? Yeah, yeah. Right, the 80s. okay. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Ready. Good. I'm here. I'm in my speedo. I've got cum in my hair. Um, or mayonnaise, one or the other. Um, I'm very old and very crinkly. I'm like a leather couch, but thin. Is it Rod Stewart? Rod Stewart, yes. <laughs> He's got cum in his hair. Let's... Let's, it was mayonnaise, then cum. Uh, I don't know, that's what I kept in my hair when I had it. <laughs> Didn't do me any damage. Let's have another one from your poop shoot. Another one, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure I'm not a whore? God. Are you, are you rhyming words? I, I'm, I'm rhyming, yes. That's okay. literally all it was, just rhyming. That's all you were doing. Yes. Okay. I, uh, Have you got time to squeeze one more out? We do. Yes. Um, oh, I have this problem all the time. Impotence. No, other way around. Premature ejaculation. No. Oh, it, it's... I should have taken those nine Viagra. Unwanted boners. Unwanted boners, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says an erection that won't go down. Oh, yeah. okay. When is erection ever unwanted? Usually when it... Yeah, no, I'm not going to say. <laughs> okay. You ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, all well, this muck round here. Mm. Dirty. Need to pick it all up. It's very common. Don't like it. It's very common. Very mucky. Are you Kim Woodburn? No. Oh. That'd be great. Oh, love. Oh, oh. That's all she does. Oh, the dirt. Oh, love. Okay. Is it just somebody who doesn't like dirtiness? No, no, no. Oh, it's Uncle Bulgaria. I love, you're right. Pick all this litter up. It's dirty. Very common. Very common around here. Is it a gay womble? Just a womble, yeah. All right. But it actually says you are a womble, so I would be a gay womble. So. Well, yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was harder than I expected, said the actress to the bishop. Coming up soon, we will have Mike getting all sciency. But next, it's Lee with the showbiz news. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we talk to the man who has literally skinned a gay leopard today. It's Lee. I think you'll find it's a homosexual tiger. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Let's do some showbiz. Let's. Were you a Rugrats fan in your childhood? So I was a little bit too old for Rugrats. Oh. Just a, smi just a smidge. Just a little tiny smidge. Yeah, I was just a, like a year outside of the target demographic. Okay. Still watched it. Still watched but, it, but yeah. you know. Well, they're, they're rebooting it. Like Ooh. so many things nowadays, they're rebooting it. We've, we've, we've got a picture here of that's the original cartoon of Rugrats. Can you yeah. name any of them? Uh, there's Tommy, Chucky, um, Angelica, Phil and Lil, and um, the dog was called Spike. Now, this is a later um, episode is because they also had um, the baby. Okay. Who was called Dill. Dill and? Um, well, Dill, because Dil. the family name was Pickle. So it was oh, Dil. okay. And you didn't watch it, you just kind of... No, I didn't really did, watch yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Um, and now we've got a picture of the rebooted version of Rugrats. Okay. So they've kind of been um, all kind of like 3 d eyed kind not of. Not a fan. You're not a fan of that? Not a fan. No. Well, perhaps you'll be a fan. So, in, in, so you mentioned Phil and Lil. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So in the new reboot of Rugrats, mm. Phil and Lil's mum, Betty, yeah, yeah. she's going to be openly gay. And it was always kind of like... I mean, she wasn't. Well, it was never actually. She was married in the original cartoon. It's got a picture of her in the original cartoon, Betty. Uh-huh. She was, she, was, uh, she was married to, um, to, to a guy um, called um, Howard. She's going to be a beacon for queer young people. Oh, good. Mm. So um, they say that she's been... A queer icon for ages because of the way she like she had the sports, the boisterous mm -hmm. attitude, trim up purple shirt with the female symbol on it. Mm -hmm. I just always assumed in the new reboot, mm -hmm. she's gonna own a cafe called Betty's Beans. Well, do you think they've done that on purpose? Um, she loves football, cracks jokes about her ex girlfriends while parenting twins. Now this is a picture of her. Rebooted, okay. In the in in the version there, I want yeah. her her shop to be next to a like a photography shop what called we'll Flickers. The actress, the voice actress, mm -hmm. Natalie Morales, who who herself came out as queer in twenty seventeen. Okay. She's kind of like she's all for it. She's like saying she's a single mum. She's got her own business. Mm -hmm. She's got twins, and she's still got time to hang out with her friends. Oh. Um, she wants her to kind of like, as, a, as kind of like a role model for young queer people. Um, she's kind of like saying that when she was a kid, cartoons were hugely influential on her mm. and would have liked to have kind of seen more kind of out yeah, there's, there's characters. Def there's definitely a part of, of children's cartoons that need more LGBT um, open and out and mainstream. Mm. So yeah, so Betty is going to be out and proud in the Rugrats. Good. I didn't really watch it. I was, I was 400 by then. So. I was going to say you were out down mines, weren't you? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was down the mines. Working like as in a the canary. Canary. <laughs> I remember there was, there was the weird... The, what was the one, the girl that cut all the hair off a doll and... Angelica. Angelica. And the doll was called Cynthia. You know way more than this than you're letting on, don't you? Well, I, I said I watched it. Not memorise it. I remember a lot of things. Just not, be, not boys' names. Not boys' names. Okay. So, we've men again, we've mentioned this before previously, but it has now been confirmed. Oh. The Eurovision Song Contest is to launch in the US next year. 
Why? It's going. It's not obviously it's not going to be called the Eurovision Song Contest because it's in America. It's going to be called the American Song Contest. But they won't do it right. They'll you be don't serious. Know, Mike. You they don't can't. Know. They can't do something as camp as a show choir without making it serious. Well, you know, it's going to be. It's going. NBC have got the rights to it. Okay. And they're gonna. <laughs> it's the, all fifty American states are going to be represented. Okay. You know, and. Um, it, it's going to take place in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and it, the idea is that they win the vote for the best original song. Okay. Okay. So it's, it can be one solo artist, mm -hmm. a band, a duo, or a DJ. Oh. Wicka, 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 wicka. A DJ. Okay. Um, <laughs> and they have to perform an original song that celebrates different styles and genres across America. Right. And um, there's going to be a live contest, three rounds... Uh -huh. As the acts compete to go into the qualifying rounds, followed by semi-finals and the ultimate grand finale, where one state or one territory will emerge victorious. And what do they win? Um, nothing. Oh. Just the thing. So they don't even win the, the hosting it over next year to bankrupt the state. Well, I don't know. They, That's what they, happens with Eurovision, isn't it? Yeah, they if could you win, do. You, you have to host it the next year. Yeah, they, mm, not sure. They so they, they haven't. Except haven't given a release date yet, okay. but apparently applicants can apply soon. All right, okay. Um, I, like you said, do they? Th do you know? Do American? Will America do it as campers, as as we do in Europe? Like, we've got some examples of past Eurovision entries here, just okay. to kind of remind us how camp. So, so the first one here, just in the Turkey. Yeah. Um, well, who who did just in the Turkey? Was it Ireland that just in the Turkey was an entrance for? So that was a puppet. It was okay. a puppet, you're it right. It was a puppet. Let's have another one up. Do you remember these? Yes. Lordy. Yes, Hard Rock Hallelujah. Hard Rock Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With their horrible, scary face masks. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, pyrotechnics. Pyro Did they do a lot of pyrotechnics? Lots of flames. Did they, like, have guitars with flames coming yeah. out of them? Oh, okay. Um, next one. That's not me. A Yeshua. Kind of sure. I see. I've got him down as, as the tin foil man. I don't actually know who he is. I'm assuming he came from somewhere like Finland or Scandinavia. <laughs> Phone's ringing. We can hear it ringing, Lee. You don't need to tell us. Hello. Oh, so the silver foil person. Uh huh. It's called Verka. Right. And they were from the Ukraine. Okay. And. Um, the turkey mm -hmm. was from Ireland. Oh, right. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye. So there we go. Well, only time will tell whether or not... Oh, we've got one more picture, though. Oh, okay. Angel Boy from this year. I didn't watch it this year. Did you not? Hand in oh. your card. Your homosexual card. I was busy. You were busy. Busy. Whatever. So he, mm -hmm. with the angel wings, uh -huh. he was called Tix, T-I-X. Okay. Because he has Tourette's and, ha and has facial tics. All right, okay, cool. So it's uh, we will see if the US, I kind of think it's going to be a bit bland. I think they're going to overproduce it and it's going to be one of them. Uh... And if Simon Cowell's in it. With his pants up by his nipples. Oh, and I bet James Corden gets in it on some way, ha some form. Yeah. Are you, a, are you a Will Young fan? I do like Will Young. Do you name one of his songs, Mike? Uh, um, leave right now. Okay. So, Will Young mm -hmm. has summed up perfectly what many men feel about being single. Let's see if you agree. Okay. So, can you believe it's 20 years ago that he became famous uh -huh. in Pop Idol? 20 years ago. 20 we've got years ago. we've got a picture. There he is, winning yeah. Pop Idol. Yeah, and then very famously coming out just after winning. Yeah, although I, I, I kind of knew. Yeah. There's a picture of him here with um, Gareth Gates, who there was the kind of like, you know, famous, that was they with the finalists. Yes. And, you <laughs> know, <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> they did that thing where they were, drove around in buses, didn't they? And They, they had me. a whole vote for I I, I, I knew, was... he, they, they did a thing where they were trying to get to know the contestants, mm -hmm. and they said to him, who would be your ideal date? And he to said, young. yeah, and he said, yeah. tea with the queen. Yeah, yeah. And then all the gay klaxons went, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They would only have gone off more if he'd said um, tea with the queen and Princess Margaret. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a bad yeah. um, So he is about to release his seventh studio album. Mm. Seventh studio album. It's going to be called Crying on the Bathroom Floor. Oh, okay. Which doesn't sound particularly perky, does it? Um, it, it, it? Basically, it's a covers album, and he's 
doing covers of songs by alternative pop female artists. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be doing Robin, Sky Ferreira, Solange, who is Beyonce's sister. Um, yeah. So basically, he's kind of he's opened up about being single in his forties, mm -hmm. and he's kind of saying it's liberating. Yeah. Well, I can um, imagine. He said that he doesn't want to be in a relationship. And it's something that he used to feel ashamed about it, Mike. He feels ashamed about it. Um, but actually, I'm very happy single and I don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself to. Do you keep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's one of those things that everyone goes, oh, you're not, you're not alone. No, I actually quite enjoy my own company in more ways than one. Yeah, um, um, but it is, being single is actually a really nice thing because you don't have any of those compromises that you do in relationships. If you want to have chicken for, for tea, you can have chicken for tea. You don't have to go, what do you want? So, so last year, mm -hmm. he released a book called How to Be a Gay Man. Uh -huh. So the picture, I, I quite like that outfit. I'm quite I do it. enjoy his fashion. Yeah. Um, and it was all about how he felt about being a gay man and mm -hmm. the shame that he felt and how we learned to deal with it and how we can truthfully say that he's gay and happy. Sure. The album sounds a little bit of a bore fest to me. That, that, that's the end of the showbiz news this week. There's hope for us all. My, well, I'm, I'm in a relationship, so that's fine. But there's hope for you. Ooh, that's a kiss of death if ever it's never heard it. <laughs> well, okay, thank you for that, Lee. I'm quite happy being single on my own. Um, but coming up soon, we have that science, that is. But before that, we have Mike in the buzz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go to the man who's a singer. Pringle and he's ready to mingle. It's Mike and the Buzz. So you say single Pringle, mm? but when they're in the tube, they're constantly spooning. Ready to mingle. No, they're con no when they're in the tub, they're already mingled. They're continually spooned, aren't they? I said a single Pringle. Yeah, but each, Pringle. Si each single Pringle is currently spooning. Yeah, but they're a very slutty crisp. But I've been looking around the internet to find some interesting bits and pieces, okay? Now, Lee, you've got a pet, haven't you? I do, indeed. Yes. When, when your, your pet is wandering around the flat, around your abode... Yes. Yes. Do you ever look down and accidentally, shall we say, get a glimpse of someone's button? No, because she's very furry. Okay. Um, so her, her, her poop shoot is not... Uh -huh. Visible. It's not visible. No. Oh, well, that's okay. Well, that'd be messy to clean up afterwards. Um, well, we've got some good news for those who don't have the luxury of a furry a poop shoot dog um, or cat. Okay. And that's the invention of a twinkle tush, Ooh. which covers your cat or dog's butt with a jewel. Nice. Why is it covering a uncooked turkey? No, that's a, that's a bald cat. A bald cat? A bald cat, yes. <laughs> is that, is, are they called Egyptian shrinks? Some of them are called Egyptian sphinxes, yes, it's just... Uh, uh, should we, you don't shave the cat. It's just naturally bald. Okay. Yeah. Um, but these, these hang around the tail. They're not what you think where you look like it looks like it's a, a bejeweled butt plug for animals. Oh, you don't stick it up its ass. There's no, no insertion required. Oh, it just... It, it's a dangle-dangle rather than a pushy in. Okay. I mean, to be fair, cats' buttholes are unattractive. Yeah. Um... But my question is, is what happens when the cat does a poop? Well, that dangle, dangle, dangle will get covered in turd. But you can get, you can give it a rinse. No. Up it through the dishwash. No. No? No. Up the cat through the dishwash. No, none of it. Well, one, I wouldn't have a cat because I don't like cats. Really? Yeah. <laughs> have you said something about them before, about them being evil? Yeah, they are evil. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're demons in furry bodies. Um, not all so, of them. Some of them are, are, are furless. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, so I wouldn't have one. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I just, I, I, I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's silly. <laughs> you think it's silly to cover up something unattractive with something pretty? I mean, there are humans that I know that would benefit from that. From covering up the bottom with yeah. the Yeah. Name them. People. <laughs> just people. Wh which people's bottoms are you seeing that you'd like to pop a jewel over it? Just just people in general. You know, down the <laughs> down the gymnasium. I'm lying, I haven't oh, been there for about three <laughs> I was years. Say, <laughs> two problems with that. We're talking about people's bottoms. 
Yeah. So how are you seeing that? The, the, People the, that do lunges the naked in, in the gym. I'm, what, I'm getting confused <laughs> with Paul. I was going to say, <laughs> don't go to a gym because there's nobody that does gym naked. No. Perhaps when I'm watching porn, I could just blue tap one onto the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep moving it, surely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not thinking about that for, for the dog. No, she did, like I say, she doesn't have a she doesn't have a um, visible bum hole. It's, <laughs> it's covered by fur. It's covered by fur. Whereas mine's gaping. <laughs> like a yawning hippo. <laughs> um, so you might get one for yourself then. Yeah. Oh. You do massive ones. <laughs> Just get sit on the beanbag. Like mirror size ones. <laughs> <laughs> mirror ball. <laughs> yeah, chain that around my waist, that cover it. You might lose it. Yeah. Moving on quite quickly. For, from one sparkly queen, that's you, uh, uh, to another, um, and that's her Madge. She's an old sparkly queen. She is an she? old sparkly queen, but she owns lots of diamonds. And this is news that her, the Platinum Jubilee plans include a four-day bank holiday. Oh, when's next, that happening? Next year. Oh. What are you owing for? Well, she could be dead by then. <laughs> Maybe not. 12 months. Just say, I'm just saying what everybody's thinking. No, no I wasn't thinking that. If she, <laughs> if she did uh -huh. pop off to the throne in the sky, yeah, yeah. would we still get those four days? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd have, we'd have national mourning. How many days is that? Well, I'm planning least, a holiday. It's going to be at least one. It's going to be at least one. So she can hang on till like August next year. R roll over for like five days, like a whole week. Like, have the four days to celebrate, yay, and then pop off. And then pop off, and then, we're, oh, no, sad oh, now. Oh, yeah. That'd be perfect. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. I'd get, like, a cheap flight somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, if she pops off during those four days, I don't think the funeral would happen within a day or two. It's not like a roll up. Because they've just done a bank holiday. Mm. They wouldn't be open. Okay. Yeah, so you're not excited about the... Not really. Not really. I mean, I don't have anything against her. Okay. I just don't, don't, I, I, I don't, I'm not, you know. You're apathetic towards the monarchy. They're just there, aren't they? There. They're just there. They're just there. Some of them are less there than others. <laughs> um. <laughs> Some of them are there and should keep quiet. Yeah. 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 So, you know, if, if I'm, if I'm going to get a holiday, then, you know, big up the Royal Massif. Okay. Um, I know I've got squirrels. We, we've done squirrel feeders before. We have. We've talked about squirrels. Mm. Um, well, imagine, if you will, a, a feeder for squirrels. It's a feeder? A feeder for squirrels. Yeah. Right? That changed them into another animal. Oh. And that's exactly what we have here, which is a squirrel feeder that has, is in the shape of a horse's head. What did you think of that one? Uh, I think it's shit. You think it's, I love that. Little squirrel. Oh, I'm a squirrel, I'm a squirrel. Oh, I'm a horse. It's brilliant. Yeah. They do unicorn ones as well. <sighs> you oh. see, what would be funny uh -huh. is if they were if they had like a range of like celebrity heads. Like what? Like the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like uh, yeah. Or Thora Heard. <laughs> Thora Heard <laughs> Selling a stair lift. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to my age, you can't do stairs very oh, well. Like posh Spice or... The Spice Girls. Yeah, or, you know... Other celebrities. Dua Lipa. <laughs> Dua Lipa. Uh, yeah. I probably still wouldn't have one. You wouldn't have one? I thought they were quite lovely. Yeah. And if you've got something to show us that made you think, ooh, how did they get two in there? Why not give it to us to show? You can just tag us on your social media for the Cud TV. And that brings us to the story of the week. So you like fashion? I do. Yeah, you've been known to wear some. I have. Well, here's a fashion that you might or might not be interested in. Oh. And that's wet pants denim. What, oh. So wet pants denim, okay? Which is a wet look and dry feel is how it's billed. A wet look, but dry feel. Yeah, and this is basically jeans yeah. that make it look like you've had a bit of a whoopsie at the front. Ooh, so here, here we have a pair of white jeans that look like you've had a bit of a whoopsie at the front. Nice. Yeah, nice. Not the reaction I thought we'd get. 
Uh, and here's some blue de denim jeans that I had to see at the front. <laughs> Are they genuine? They're genuine. Can you genuinely go and buy them? genuinely buy these. So I wouldn't need to buy them, I just produce them. But the whole point is this, is because if you produce them, then it, it, it's wet and chafy. Oh. Whereas if you just if you wear these, it's dry. Why would you want to wear them, though? Why would you not? Why? Because people will point at you in the street and go, oh, look, he's pissed himself. And? Or herself. But if they're doing that and, you, you know, you're already wet down, it's just a way of looking dry. <laughs> I don't know. Go on. My brain's if you... gone. My brain's gone. Sorry. If you wet yourself, but you already look like you wet yourself, in some strange time continuum, you become dry. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that, so it's to, to oh, talk about incontinence and stuff. And how, if you is wet, it to encourage, no, to encourage it's, that it's, talk it's, of incontinence? To encourage the talk of it. Without feeling the shame of it, because you know when you, because you know how when you laugh, how a little bit of wee comes out. Not always. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, but not that much. <laughs> Every time I sneeze, it's like a flood. Oh, um, it's just a way, a way of bringing it. You know, it happens. And so now you've got these these pants that show that you could wet yourself. Ten of men. That's all you have to do. You don't need to. <laughs> I thought you said look. ten of men. I'm ten thinking of men. ten men. Well, oh, I'd be tired. <laughs> I, 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 oh yeah, it's a very strange thing. What I mean, what's next? Like follow through pants, where you where you look like you've sharted yourself. Well, you said that. <laughs> the next picture is not of that. That's oh, wrong. Okay. <laughs> so you're not a fan. I, I $70. Can't, I can't see them catching on. I can't see them catching $70, though. $70? $70, that's like £50. Oh, goodness me. For some comedy jeans. Some comedy piss pants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not, in, not on my watch. Well, yeah, that's all from the bus this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I'm going to strike off buying those tenor pants for men from my shopping list next week. Stay with us, because coming up next, we have that science, that is... back to chewing the cud. And now it's the reason I've just had to sign a new health and safety form. It's... That science, that is. This week we're going to be having fun with an element. The element of fire? No, the element called hydrogen. Of fire? No, hydrogen. Oh, okay. Hydrogen. Fire. Hydrogen. Is that is that things that makes things go higher? Yes. In the sky. It, it's lighter than air. Okay. Yes. Um, famously, the Hindenburg was filmed with with hydrogen. Oh, and that ended well. Well, we're going to find out why later. Mm. <laughs> but the first thing is, we're going to need to make some hydrogen first of all. Are we? So how, how, how do, you do think we do we... that, Mike? Well, here's, we've got different ways of doing it, okay? Okay. Now, the first one we've got is to something called electrolysis, which is to use electric to break apart atoms. That's normally how I get my anus smooth as a baby's bottom. We know. Um, and then the other way is to, for, for a chemical reaction, okay? So I'm going to do electrolysis and you're going to lead on the chemical reaction. Oh, just by my personality. Just your sparkling personality and chemicals. Now, before we start, we do just have to say that, you know, we've gone through rigorous training, so please do not try this at home. We have. Okay, so the first thing I need you to do, Lee, is you should have some, some foil there. I need, foil? I need to tear little, little squares up of foil for me. How many squares? Just a handful. There we go. Now, while you do that, I'm going to start my electrolysis. And for that, I'm going to need some wire. You having fun? Yeah. Is, this, is that enough? Let me see. You've got a handful. Oh, no, you need that, that sheet that you've torn off. Yeah. Make all that into squares. All of that? All of that, yes. Okay. So while you do that, I'm also going to get a, one of my science knives and um, separate out a pencil. Because inside pencils, there's graphite, 
which is a very good conductor. What does it conduct, Mike? Um, electricity and the number 75 bus. Okay, now, as well as a little, as well as your, your foil there, you should have a empty bottle of um, caffeinated polar beverage. Um, big or small? Big one. Yeah. Okay. Do. So into that bottle, if you pop in your, um, your little bits of foil. Okay. Now this is where I need to be very careful, Lee. Okay. Okay. It's very serious, this bit, because on your desk, you also have a bottle of drain declogger. Oh. Now this is a very, very potent chemical. And what I want you to do is very carefully pour some of it into that bottle with the foil in without getting on the rim. So you need to pour a little stream into, into the bottle, okay? Without getting any on the rim. Without getting any on the rim. Okay. How much? Just a good, a good amount. So you want to be able to get all that foil wet with it. Okay, let me see. Yep, that's enough. Not a single drop on the rim. Good, and now you should have some lovely balloons. Do I put the lid on this? No, 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 you need the balloons. The, on the deflated balloon. Deflated balloons. On, on a balloon. And I want you to wrap the balloon around the top to create like a, a seal. Just one? Just one. Because what's going to happen is it's going to create a gas <gasps> and that gas is going to inflate the balloon. Oh my goodness. Okay, so make sure it's got a good tight seal. Oh, it ripped. Well, that's why I gave you two, just in case. Cheap. Okay, have we got it over the top? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Now, if you give the bottom of the bottle a little bit, give it a swirl. You don't want to shake, you want to swirl. And can you feel warmth coming up? Ooh! So that's called an endothermic reaction. Oh, it's like a scrotum. Okay. And what's going to happen is, the first of all, the balloon's going to deflate a little bit. Okay. And then it's going to start inflating as, the, as it produces hydrogen gas. Waiting. It, it takes a little while. And while that happens, I, I've separated out my pencil electrodes here and put them in some, some just normal water, because water is hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. I've got my little electrodes here on some wire. Got two of those. And then onto, onto that, I'm going to just attach a normal 9 volt battery. Okay. Okay. And what's going to happen is while we sat here talking, yeah, that's going to just do electrolysis. And it's going to separate out the oxygen and the hydrogen. Okay. Now I'm not collecting this. Okay. That's because the hydrogen is flammable, which is great. But if you collect the hydrogen and oxygen together, they're explosive. Mm. I'm just gonna let mine dissipate into the air. Okay? Now, it'll take a few minutes for yours to go through. Okay, so you're just gonna leave it to one side while we do one other experiment. Oh, another one? Yes. Such fun. And this is called elephant's toothpaste. Oh. Now, you might have seen this on YouTube. I have not. You have not, okay. So you should have a, a protective tub we're doing using a tub because this is a little bit messy. Is it? Yes. Okay. So you should have an empty bottle. I do, yeah. You do. Okay. So in your empty bottle, yeah. Yeah. You want to put some some yeast. So you should have a packet of yeast that you would use for making bread. I do. Okay. Have so just pop one of those little sachets into. Your bottle. Okay. And then once you've done that, you're just going to pour some warm water into the yeast. And then we just need to shake this up. Shakey, shakey, shake. Shakey, shakey, shake. Shakey, shakey, shake. Shakey, shake. Oh. Okay. And once you've sh shaken it up a little bit, we're going to add, you have a little pot of clear liquid. This? That's the one, yes. What is this? Okay. This is just a simple 
It's just simple soap. Simple soap? Simple soap, yes. Um, well, it's actually bubble fluid, but it works the best. So you just pour, pour, pour that in and give it a slight whiz. Okay, now what colour would you like your toothpaste to be? You have a choice there. Yeah, I'm going to go for the green. You're going for green? Yeah. I'm going for red. And you're just, just going to pop a little few drops of red or green into your, your mix. Okay, now you'll need your, your, your blue cap off at this point, Lee. Okay, because now we're going to add in hydrogen peroxide. This sounds dangerous. It is, this is why we have a science tub, to catch it. The thing that protects all. A thing, science tub. A science tub, yes. Okay. Okay, okay, and you're just going to pour this in quite quickly. There you go. So you're making toothpaste. It's elephant toothpaste. Oh, wow. Okay, now this is, this actually produces oxygen bubbles, which yeah. are then caught by the foam. Okay. okay. We have done a very watered down version in the studio. Stinks. That, that's the smell of oxygen being created. But we produced a watered down version because it's, it's hydrogen peroxide, it's bleach. Scary stuff. It is. Yeah. And just to show you how quickly it's foaming, I'm going to add some colour to it. Just so you can see. Look how quickly that's going. Proper, proper X, yeah. You're not excited by that? Not really. Okay, so you can put your science tub to one side then. Okay. I have provided you with some pre-prepared hydrogen. Okay. And so we've got a balloon full of air, which is just air. Oh, you okay. want me to guess? Is I want you to you get them out, yeah. We've got a balloon of hydrogen and oxygen. Oh. And then a little one just of hydrogen on its own. So have you got three balloons there now? Yes, Michael. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is a control one, which is with the air, <laughs> with your science flame. The science, science flame. Just stroke your balloon with the flame. <laughs> oh, I don't like it! So now let's do the little one with the hydrogen in. Don't want to. Let's do the little one with the hydrogen in. Okay, you've got your fire extinguisher to hand, haven't you? There we go. There you go, you feel safer now? <laughs> Unless that goes off as well. <laughs> so once again, Nice distance and light your flame and just stroke the balloon with your flame. I don't like it, Mike. It's fine. <laughs> so should we try the one with hydrogen and oxygen now? What, what, the green one? Or the one with H and O on it for hydrogen and oxygen, yeah. Yeah. And that's science, that is. That science, that is. I think I preferred the one where we made the edible <laughs> That's just about the end of the show for this week, but we have just enough time to remind you that we are at the Cud TV on social media, the Cud.tv for our website. And while you are on our website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. So stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.